Well, you know, even during these down economic times, people are still spending millions of dollars on their pets. There are furry kids. Fox 5 Sholly Zamarodi is live in Coronado with more on how people are pampering their pooches. Give us the deets. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Arthel. We're talking about the hottest fashions. We're talking about massages, gourmet meals, and surfing. And no, we're not talking about humans doing that. We're talking about these little pooches getting pampered. And we're at the Lowe's Coronado Bay Resort, one of the hotels in San, Di San Diego that is dog friendly so we're kicking it off with a fashion show you guys are going to love this kim from downtowndoglover.com here with us we're going to talk about the website in a little bit about what it offers but right now let's give everybody a treat that's waking up with some of the cutest cutest fashions you ready for this i'm ready okay let's bring out our first model first up we have guinness an eight-month-old mini dachshund he's feeling like a hero in his lifeguard tank his Hawaiian print island dog gear leash and collar is perfect for a day at the beach. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so adorable. And he's digging that top. All right, thank you. Our next model? Next up we have Jake. Jake is a French bulldog who's ready to hit the beach and catch a wave. Better swim safely, Jake, because it doesn't look like Guinness will be too much help getting you back to shore. Aww. Thank you, Jake. Our next model? And now we have Zoe, who's rocking the beach in her pink luau skirt. <laughs> Mahalo. No, seriously. Now, Zoe, by the way, is our photographer, Brian Ingram's little dog. People really put, uh, like, little luau skirts on their, their dogs, no joke? Oh, no joke. People put anything on their dogs. Oh, Zoe, you look adorable. Do a little hula for us. There you go, Zoe. Very cute. Our next model. James is a two-year-old lab chow mix who came prepared for safety in his Portage Float Coat Dog Life Jacket. It's designed for those sea-bound dogs that need high-quality flotation at an excellent value. Okay, good stuff for the dogs that want to go in the water. Yes, definitely. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Who's our next model? Bella Vega is looking her best for those summer barbecue parties in her watermelon dog dress and matching watermelon hat. The soft pink and white light lace tank and hand-knitted watermelon pocket and green ruffle trim complements the coat on this four-year-old Yorkie Chihuahua mix. Okay, can you do that one more time, please? Oh. Is there any way you can get her back up again? That was so cute. <laughs> Don't fall off the table. <laughs> please stay on the table. Very, very cute. How much do outfits like that go for? Um, they're about like 20 to $30. They're pretty reasonable, yeah. Okay, perfect. And our final model. Next is adorable little Ruby, a 16-month-old mini dachshund. Ruby is positively adorable in her strawberry dog day dress. This ensemble is exactly what every little girl needs. Oh, you look so adorable. And how much was something like that? Is that like another 20 to $30 thing? Yeah, same thing. Okay, if we can get all the models back out, um, back around here so we can take a look at them. Now, downtowndoglover.com is a website that's really just pet-friendly overall. Right, it's a free directory for all things dog friendly, dog friendly businesses and service providers in San Diego. So what are some of the things that you can find on there? You can find anything from groomers to pet sitters to dog friendly hotels like the Lowe's, um, boutiques and storefronts like um, uh, like um, Metropolis who provided all of the fashions for today. Um, you can find pretty much anything that you could ever need, dog trainers, everything. I gotta, I gotta ask, and especially at a time like this, there's a lot of people that are home that if they don't own dogs, they're gonna think one of two things. They're gonna think, wow, that's so adorable, or oh my goodness, these people are nuts. But people are, are like this into their dogs, and they're willing to spend money. Yeah, definitely, especially people with smaller dogs. They can dress up a little bit easier, and they definitely have fun with it. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Well, we want to thank all of our models for coming out. Arthel, if you're there. I'm here. Um, Sa Sammy does not participate, but look at his shirt. He has a bling bling representing. I was just going to say that Sammy is rocking the bling, looking very good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And coming up in our next hour, let me tell you what's happening a little later today. Uh -huh. We're going to be uh, cooking gourmet dog food. A chef will be out here doing that. And then the dogs are going to go for doggy massages. And then we're surfing with the pets today. Oh, boy. Seriously. Hey, hey Shaw. So, so yes. Brian Ingram, the photographer, his doggy, Zoe, in the pink hula skirt. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Where is she? Where's Zoe? Where is? Did she take it off? Where's Zoe? Um, yeah, she took well, it show off. Show us the little pink, the, the little pink uh, skirt. Anyway, is it still there nearby? The pink skirt. Yeah, where's that pink oh, skirt? Oh man, this is it? a long way to go for this joke. I'm sorry. All I was just gonna say is that I hear Brian and his dog dress alike. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Arthel>. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, the car of the future could be here sooner than you think. Kurt, the